we bought an old speedboat. Well, it was an absolute wreck and we was like, when the weather's nice, we'll start fixing it up. So now with the lockdown, we made sure the kids were sorted for the homeschooling and everything like that. And we was, now the weather's picked up a bit, we was like, right, let's get her out and uh, let's make a start. And there she is. It's a 16 foot Shakespeare, I think it's a Magnum, but I'm not 100%. I mean, if you guys know, please let me know. So it'd been left outside for ages, been left outside, no cover on, whole thing was full of water, full of rain and all kinds of stuff. So the interior was gone, the seats and that were all rotten and the wood. So what we've done is, we've ripped everything out and our main focus today is putting the new floor in, which we have made a really good start. And Mrs. C to B is busy cut, well, drawing the final piece. The dodgy piece. She's doing all the hard work. No. I just put it in and screw it down. It's meant. Does that a lot? Hi. If you've not seen Mrs. C to B's channel, I'll put a link. Make sure you have a look at it. It's really good, funny, very entertaining. Do you want to big your channel up a little bit? Oh. oh. So yeah, you should check it out. So our plan for the, the boat project is we are going to get it ready for the water. Next year we are going to plan something really good. Really good boat trip. You know, we want to explore I mean, I'd love to go around the whole of the UK. I don't know how manageable that is, but we might start off doing a little small section, south west coast, and uh, see how we get on. So, I mean, if you like this kind of thing, please comment below. If you've ever done anything like this, please let us know. I'd love to see any videos or pictures or anything of what ones you've already done, if you've done speedboat projects. I'll give you a bit of a, a tour around it. So, it's a lovely shape. It just wants polishing up. The gel cut's really dull, but I love getting my polisher out and polishing it. It'll be amazing. The rubber strike all the way around's in good condition, so I just need to wipe. The screen's good. Trailer wants a lick of paint. We'll get some new new bearings and some new wheels for it, so that'll be cool. It's all right having a decent boat, but if your trailer's not good, there's no point. You need it to, you know, get you from A to B. And so yeah, like I said, we we've gutted the interior, put a new floor in, 12 mil thick, so really strong stuff, and then. We're going to seal all the wood in, nice and waterproof. We're just waiting for the sealant to go off. It's drying really nicely because it's sunny. It's in the sun, it's in a real good spot. Get rid of all this old rubbish. We're going to take the dash off. Everything's coming out. We're going to redo the dash, redo everything, new seats, and then at the back, have a Mercury 80 which should push this along very nice. We've not heard it run, the guy we bought it off said it needed a new starter solenoid. I put a battery on and he was right, we've got the starter solenoid. We're gonna, well, depending on how we get on, we might even have a go at that today. But there's, there's loads of stuff to do. I want to pull all the wiring out, the controls, freshen them all up get plenty of oil on them, lube them all up so they're all nice and free and then yeah, fingers crossed she'll run. Maybe that'll be for another video about getting the outboard running. What do you think? She wants to do it today. Waiting for the sealant to go off now so, you know, chilling out time go now. Go off? Is that like how you call it? What you call it? Yeah, going off, you know. 
dry. Going from wet to tacky to dry. To, to dry. Going off. That's not what it's called, is that like a technical term? Technical term, that one. Come out learning, from every day I'm learning. Every day's a learning day. And now Probably. we're going to do the engine. What? Yeah, I want you to show me how to do it. Huh. Thank you.